What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about a couple of on-chain metrics, but there's a lot of news going on out there, but no one's really talking about this one. Vitalik actually moved about $1.3 billion worth of ETH um, to a different wallet. So this is something interesting uh, that I want to put on uh, people's radars just to uh, be aware of what's going on out there. Good news is it's a multi-sig wallet. So really don't know what he is planning on doing. That's also why I'm making this video. So maybe if someone else has insight to this as well, maybe they can leave it in the comments below. Um, but there's, uh, there's really not much out there. There's maybe one article on Forbes um, that was kind of just overlooked in general, uh, being that he sold the SHIB tokens and he donated them. And obviously Elon Musk, um, just basically calling, not not calling it rat poison, but Bitcoin just being demolished by um, Elon Musk. So whatever. Um, but anyways, Elon or Vitalik Buterin moves $1.3 billion worth of Ether, but where? So this article just talks about him moving $1.3 billion of Ether. And people were kind of overlooking it because he was like, oh yeah, he was donating tokens. He was donating to charity, he was donating to um, the COVID-19 relief, etc. But let me go ahead and show you some on-chain metrics so you guys can see this. So if you scroll down in his wallet, you got to scroll down a bit. You actually have to go to the last 413 transactions. And you won't really be able to see it until you randomly see, because he just had a ton of transactions, um, obviously selling these different tokens. But then you scroll down and you find something weird. It says... 320,000 ether so it's like whoa what the pants what is he doing here so then you kind of look at it look at the transfer you open it up didn't spend a crazy amount oh, transaction fee is not too bad but look 1.2 billion dollars worth and he also sent a quote-unquote I would just call it a test transaction of what is that 18 million dollars worth well that's a that's a big test transaction but hey that's his test transaction so you see these different um, wallets in these different transactions. And let me go ahead and I'll open that one back up so you guys can see it again. We're on this wallet. We have the from address, which is VB, Vitalik Buterin. This is his wallet. It's got a bunch of random junk in it. You can look into it and see as well, but a lot of people just threw junk in. And then you have a to address. When you go to this to address, it looks like it's, it's not a normal wallet. It's actually a contract, guys. Uh, this is a multi-sig wallet. So if you go into the contract, uh, you can read into the code a bit. Um, it really just mainly is talking about a multi-sig wallet and it talks about Gnosis. Uh, let me see if Gnosis is in here so you guys can see it. Yeah, rich, Richard at Gnosis.io. So maybe you can email this guy if you wanted to, I guess. <laughs> Have some fun. But anyways, um, if you go on the Gnosis website, it basically just talks about being a multi-sig wallet uh, just for security. And I, I don't blame him. Um, he probably wants to secure it and that way people aren't trying to hack him. I mean, people are airdropping all kinds of garbage to him and he doesn't really want that. Because what people are doing is saying, oh, he loves my token because he's holding so much of these tokens, whatever. So if you look into the contract, um, not write contract, we're going to do read contract or I'm sorry, not read contract, but read as a proxy. So if you look at this, there is a section that says get owners. So these are the different owners of these multi-sig wallets. So basically all these guys have to sign off on this wallet in order for the transaction to go through. So now let's go ahead and look at these different addresses. The first one is one of these addresses with 8,706 ether. I don't know if it's his wallet or not. I don't know. Um, it's not really labeled. It says it's a get to a Gitcoin grantee. It could be his wallet. Who knows? Um, it, it could just be Gitcoin. So Gitcoin technically has to sign off on this for it to go through. The second address is going to be some random address with five ether. Really don't know much about this wallet. Um, maybe if someone has some alpha on it or it can explain it, um, that would be nice. Um, but mainly they don't really have many transactions on it. This could be Vitalik's wallet. Who knows? Next, we have this wallet. Now, what's interesting about this wallet is that it has about 17 ETH in it, and it links a lot with the Gnosis Safe. Um, so basically, it's the SIG wallet, and it only has internal transactions. So 
Not really sure what's going on with that one. Um, but again, the address is here if you guys want to check it out as well. And I'll leave links in the description. But this is where something very interesting is starting to happen. Now I'm seeing another wallet address that links up to Tornado Cash. If you don't know what Tornado Cash is, it's basically a privacy feature on the Ethereum blockchain. So you deposit your tokens into Tornado Cash and you withdraw them from a different address and basically it just wipes all the traces and no one knows who owns what. And there's also another wallet address that links up to Tornado Cash. So two multi-sig or two signers on the multi-sig wallet address are linked to Tornado Cash. So it's something a bit interesting to keep in mind. So these are the different addresses if you guys want to take a look at them. I don't know what Vitalik Buterin is looking to do. Maybe he's locking it up just to stay safe. I don't know. Um, I'm making this video to see what your guys' feedback is as well. You can look up the, on the Reddit forums as well and uh, take a look into any of the comments. A lot of people were even talking in here saying it was overlooked and no, it wasn't overlooked. And they're saying, yeah, he wants to buy a Lambo or hey, it's not too bad if he's cashing out some. And I mean, there's just a bunch of different thoughts. No one really knows exactly. Obviously, Vitalik knows. Um, but hey, I don't know, making this video so maybe we can get other people's uh, ideas and thoughts on it. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video um, and found any value into it, smash up the like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification. That way you guys are notified every time we make a new one. And guys, uh, if you want to support the channel, you can do it in a free way. There's some affiliate links in the description below. I get a reward. You get a reward. It's a win, win. Anyways, guys, if you guys have any thoughts on this, Go ahead and leave some links in the description below, or not links, but comments in the description below. And if you do have links, you can leave that as well. Um, but in my opinion, between this, Elon, and the quote-unquote FUD um, around Binance being, uh, I guess you can say, probed by the SEC um, for basically allowing people in the U.S. to participate in their exchange, those are what's causing a serious drop off in the markets today. So we're gonna leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 31. In 31 verses four, it is not for kings, Lamel. It is not for kings to drink wine, not for rulers to crave beer. Let's say drink and forget what has been decreed and deprive all the oppressed of their rights. So true, man, so true. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification. That way you guys can be ahead of the game every time we make a new video.